Good morning. Welcome to the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. We ask that you help us to preserve a reverent atmosphere by turning off all cell phones and other electronic devices, holding your applause until all graduate names have been called, and by taking photographs from your seats and keeping the aisles clear. We remind you that the Blessed Sacrament is reserved here and ask that your behavior be a reflection of your respect for our Lord. Thank you.
Coming together as God's people, we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God the Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, your spirit. with a mix of emotions, the Holy Spirit draws us together on this rare, holy, and wonderful occasion on this day that blends joy and a little sorrow, we turn to the Lord who gave us life and intelligence and compassion, who one day will reunite us in paradise. Lord Jesus, you call us to unselfish service. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you watch over us all our days. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us a vision of eternal joy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, you know that our thoughts on earth are full of fear and uncertainty. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, from whom your Son took flesh and blood, send us the gift of counsel to teach us how to discern your will and to guide us in all we do. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. We now have some remarks from our principal, Mr. Tom Campbell. On behalf of Dr. Barker, Father Tom, and our faculty and staff, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 58th commencement of Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. We welcome especially this morning the members of the class of 1968 who join us in commemoration of their 50th reunion, as well as members of our board of directors and especially our con celebrants, Father Fogo and Father Fangmeyer. It is certainly an honor to have so many here to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2018. Not quite four years ago, I stood before you as we began a different Mass. In August of 2014, seniors, you arrived at Good Council not quite knowing what to expect. Four years ago, we knew that your high school experience would be challenging and exciting, that it would include the occasional mistake, the more frequent celebration of success, and above all else, the opportunity to develop into the young men and women God intends for you to be. What we couldn't anticipate at that time were the specifics of the people and events that would shape your high school years. The past four years have included a visit to Washington, D.C. by Pope Francis, the unexpected loss of Cashin, our friend and classmate, who is still with us today in spirit and who will forever be in our hearts. The past four years included the challenging and polarizing politics of our times and included confusion over school violence and other acts of terror, both at home and abroad. What is truly significant, however, 
is how you have responded to all of the highs and lows of the past few years. You have done so together. We have watched as you have bonded as a class, coming together in grief and in joy, on junior retreat, on service trips, at athletic events, and at fine arts performances. The school spirit on display this year under your leadership was among the best we have ever seen at Our Lady of Good Counsel. We have witnessed your class come together when the football team attended the spring musical, the marching band appeared at a field hockey game, and just about the entire class put on their finest clothes for an evening celebration of absurdist film. Even when members of your class got into trouble, you tended to do it together. <laughs> As you sit here this morning, you may not fully appreciate the bonds you have formed with each other. In time, though, you will most certainly realize what the Zaverian brothers mean by enduring personal relationships. As you celebrate everything you have achieved during the past four years, I encourage you to take a moment to say thank you to those who have helped you along the way. While you have proven your talents and worth as a class, you could not have accomplished what you have without the love and support of many. Graduates, I encourage you to turn and look behind you. This basilica is full of those who have loved and supported you along the way. Now I ask you to look in front of you at the men and women behind the altar. You may not have always appreciated or particularly enjoyed the tough love that challenged you and held you to high standards, but I hope you understand that every lesson, test, lecture, demerit, and detention was motivated by a desire to help you become the best person you can be. With the support of those in the Basilica today, you have accomplished much. The 314 members of the class of 2018 are headed to 117 colleges and universities in 28 states and the District of Columbia. From New Hampshire in the north, to Florida in the south, from Pennsylvania in the east to California in the west, and for the first time, across the globe to China. 99.3% of those who applied to four-year institutions received acceptance. 38% of you will attend private schools. 43% of you will attend one of U.S. News top 100 colleges and universities. 67% of you will head out of state. 55 of you have been accepted to honors programs. A school record 79% of you have been offered a college scholarship. Those scholarships total in excess of $35 $0.5 million over four years. Well done. While we congratulate you on these accomplishments, I also encourage you to keep in mind that what you do is different from who you are. Remember our shared Zaverian values and live them every day. At the end of junior retreat, you were challenged to live the fourth day. We now encourage you to live the fifth year. Always strive to be the loving, good person who makes a difference in our world. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2018, during the past four years, we have seen and come to know the beautiful people you are. With this mass, and with our prayers, we encourage you to go forth and share your beauty with the world. As you prepare for the next step in life's journey, I leave you with a quote from St. John Paul II. Have no fear of moving into the unknown. 
simply step out fearlessly, knowing that I am with you. Therefore, no harm can befall you. All is very, very well. Do this in complete faith and confidence. God bless you, and God bless all that you do. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings and peals of thunder, an earthquake and a violent hailstorm. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were said seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had placed a place prepared by God, that there she might be taken care of for 1260 days. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed for the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks.
us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. My soul gives thanks to the Lord and bless God's holy name. For as the heavens are high, My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Almost four years ago, I walked into the Kane Center to welcome the class of 2018. As you began your freshman retreat and then convocation, there sitting before me were some very young faces, some filled with joy and wonder, others with hesitation, and some even with fear. Now, as I look out over this class of 2018, it is not young faces that I see, but young men and women eager to get on with their lives. I ask you to ponder 
today. Why are you here at this beautiful basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception? What are you here for on this beautiful day? Your parents, families, relatives, teachers, coaches, mentors, administrators, and friends gather with you to mark this milestone in your life as you graduate, not just from any high school, but from Our Lady of Good Counsel. As falcons, may you spread your wings and soar high as you share the value of service and love wherever your journey may lead you. You have been inspired to excel in all that you do. You have been motivated to do service for others, particularly the marginalized and those in need. The persuasive, redemptive power of love has become part of who you are. Share that power of love. Give the gift that you have received as a gift. In the gospel today, when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. I hope and I pray you too recognize Mary as your mother, your mother of good counsel. I pray she has inspired you to excel in all that you do. How, you may ask. The example she sets of service and realizing the persuasive power of love of God knows no bounds. God asks her and asks you to help make his presence known in your world. Growing in faith through sharing your talents and time in service to others in a beginning in the values of humility, compassion, simplicity, trust, and zeal. May you make the world a better place. In serving God, you are called to serve others. You are to become servant leaders. You celebrate here because you realize God has bestowed on you so many blessings, gifts, and opportunities. This baccalaureate mass is to give thanks to God along with those who demonstrated God's love in assisting you to reach this point. Being mindful of your talents, you have a responsibility to respond. This calls for an attitude of gratitude your response is to go forth and to continue to excel, serve, and love. I'd like you to take with you the image of the beautiful stained glass window of Our Lady of Good Counsel, our Blessed Mother Mary. How often have you passed the image looking into the chapel from the main entrance or seeing it when going up and down the main stairwell so what wisdom does Our Lady impart to you? Over your four years at GC, we've explored that wisdom with you. You have been taught that you are God's child, made in his very image, his image of reason, his image of free will, his image of love. You have been taught that God's redemptive, powerful love for each and every one of you is seen in Jesus. Even when you find it hard to love yourself, his love is there. The fulfillment of your dignity as a child of God 
is to reach out to others in the redemptive power of love, sharing with all who you meet in this journey called life. To reach out to the other is love itself. In your retreats that you've experienced, it's been our goal for you to see that happiness cannot be found alone. It can only be found in life well lived with and for others. As a falcon, it should be your desire to reach out beyond your families and circle of friends, to expand your love to the poor and marginalized. Through the requirement of service, you've been given the opportunity of seeing the need of the human family. And I know that you have seen that need is great. You have heard often that the good, loving person, even alone, can make a difference. Do not fear being that person. I once heard an educator say that the challenge of life is to find meaning and purpose. We've tried to point to you in the general direction for finding the specific purpose of your life. Of course, the ultimate pur purpose of this life is to find your way to God. Your purpose, my dear graduates, as you go forward to the next phase of your life is to leave a loving impression on the hearts of those that God will place before you. As you pass on from this phase of your life and give birth to the next, the immediate challenge will be different, but the enduring challenge remains the same. Take the time, find a place to stay connected, to pray, meditate, recognize your blessings and how you may give back. As St. Francis of Assisi prayed, where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. My hope and prayer for you, my dear graduates, is that as you say goodbye to this life that you have known, you will be open to the great possibilities that God will lay before you. My dear graduates, some of you friends, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall gently upon you. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Please stand. With thanksgiving for the past and confidence in the future, we mark the beginning of a new start in life, and we call on the Lord to help us in our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Cardinal Wuerl, and all who lead and minister to God's people. May their example of faith and service inspire men and women to seek to minister in the church. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, for refugees, immigrants, and migrants, for all those who lives, whose lives are touched by violence or natural disasters. In a special way, we remember the people of Syria and the entire Middle East. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the addicted, and the depressed, for the affirm, the homebound, and the imprisoned, we pray. 
For our graduates, that as they leave good counsel, may they always give witness to the Zaverian values of simplicity, humility, compassion, zeal, and trust. We pray. In thanksgiving for the parents and families of the graduates, whose sacrifice and love have made all the difference, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the administration, faculty, and staff of Our Lady of Good Counsel, may their dedication and self-giving be blessed a hundredfold, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the entire community at Good Counsel, may our witness as a community of faith and a school that pursues excellence continue to inspire all of those we encounter, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our faithful departed, today we remember in a special way Cashin Bolander and Adrian Roberts. We remember as well all our departed alumni, especially parents and benefactors. May the healing power of God's love bring them eternal rest. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, source of all wisdom, may the labor that led to this day prepare us for a happier and holier life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands. 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and all His holy church. Lord, let the spirit of counsel, who so wonderfully overshadowed your handmaid, the Blessed Virgin, come upon the gifts we present in worship and make them pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. How generously you poured out the gifts of your Holy Spirit upon the Blessed Virgin Mary to make her worthy to be the mother and companion of the Redeemer. Enlightened by these gifts, she sought your will unceasingly and obeyed it with fidelity. In her canticle of joy, she proclaimed the greatness of your mercy and gave herself wholeheartedly to your wise and loving plan for renewing all things in Christ. Through him, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of that peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to shut under my roof, but only say the word.
Seniors, please stand. Class President Elise Falk will now lead the seniors in reciting the prayer of the graduates. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together this morning as a school and as a family to celebrate this day. Today, we come together to recognize four years of hard work and sacrifice to accomplish great things as Falcons. Grant us serenity to enjoy this day and these final moments together as a student body. May we use our time here as Falcons to motivate us as we go our separate ways. We pray that you will be with us and guide us in every step of life. Help us to live every day with the values of simplicity, humility, compassion, zeal, and trust. Help us to grow as people and servants every day, working to improve not only ourselves, but the people around us. Grant us the humility to see that all of our accomplishments and achievements come to us through your love and mercy. May you grant us strength and wisdom to make good decisions that lead to great outcomes. Grant us happiness and confidence as we journey on into adulthood and uncharted territory. Help us to live every day with you in our hearts and in our minds. May we always know that you are with us and are guiding us. Today marks a new beginning for every senior, and with your blessings and mercy, may we have many more. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand and pray. Lord our God, we have shared in your mysteries on this memorial of Our Lady of Good Counsel. Grant that we may learn what is pleasing to you and receive salvation from your Son, whom you gave us through the Blessed Virgin Mary to be our wonderful counselor. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce to you the speaker for the class of 2018, Rhiannon Wackus Melendez. Dr. Barker, Mr. Campbell, members of the administration, faculty, and staff, parents, and friends, and my fellow members of the class of 2018. Standing here before you, I can't help but reflect and even be a bit sentimental. Our class is passionate and strong. We've gotten accepted into our dream colleges. We've committed to play collegiate sports. We're in National Honor Society and National Art Honor Society. Some of us have stuck to IB, and a congratulations to those who have. You're still alive. Even given the long history of GC, I can't imagine there ever having been a class more connected than ours. Two years ago, we demonstrated this when we lost a dearly beloved member of our community, Cash and Bolander. That time in high school took a lot from every one of us. We weren't kids anymore, and we realized that. In that time of great sadness, you all showed how compassionate and strong we are and how much we care for one another. In the weeks, months, even years past, she hasn't left us. As we learned then and know now, once a falcon, always a falcon. The winding road which we have arduously traveled across for the past four years has finally come to not an end, but an intersection. From here on out, we are all faced with an important decision we must make for ourselves. What will we become? I'll be very honest with you. I didn't know who I was freshman year. So bear with me as I give you a brief synopsis of my life really intended to introduce myself to some people sitting in front of me wondering, she was in our grade? Worry no more, I've got you. Hi, my name is Rihanna Elizabeth Joaquez Melendez Vols Perales. And I am so short, that's probably why you never saw me around. I was required to say my full name because my Hispanic side of the family is here with us today. Without my family, as I'm sure it is with you all, I would not be the person I am today. They have made so many sacrifices for us so we could receive a higher level education and have the opportunity to look to the future and excel. For that, I am eternally grateful. To my grandparents, who are currently sitting in the crowd not understanding a single word of what I'm saying because they don't speak English, I want to quickly take the time to dedicate my speech to them and say, Abu, abuelo, me están escuchando. Estoy tan feliz que pudieron venir. Han sido una gran parte de mi vida. Yo soy la mujer que soy hoy gracias a ustedes. Los amo muchísimo. Now back to my life story in English. When I moved from Puerto Rico and transferred into good counsel in the middle of ninth grade, I was scared that I wouldn't fit in in stateside American society, that I wouldn't make friends, and ultimately that I wouldn't be perceived as good enough. Fears that I'm sure some of you shared with me when you entered GC as a freshman. For each and every one of us, the mention of our French freshman year conjures up many different memories, doesn't it? I'm sorry to bring them up. When I think about my freshman year, I'm taken back to my shadow visit when I walked through the front entrance of the school and stomped right over the seal, much to the horror of the admissions office. And when I went to my first Latino student association and saw all the Hispanics and thought, thank God there's more of us. Despite how cool we thought we were back then, most often the feeling we experience when we reminisce about our freshman year is one of regret. Perhaps we wish we had tried a bit harder or made different friends. 
Perhaps we're embarrassed by how dorky we might have looked with our overly stuffed backpacks, horrible haircuts, high-pitched voices, and worst of all, our obsession with the nene. We each had different expectations for how our four years would play out and how much we would change. We all know the joke that high school is nothing like high school musical. It's a little overused, but it applies, especially considering how obsessed our class is with singing its songs in the middle of class or making a night to remember our prom picture captions on Instagram. I don't know about you, but I did not get to meet Zac Efron. Yet, in its most basic sense, we can relate to the plot, can't we? Many of us struggled discovering who we wanted to be in this world, like Troy Bolton. What major? Which college? Should we prioritize our needs and goals, or those of others? Do we stick to the status quo, or do we embrace our individualities and those of others, even if that means we might be alienated? Growing up comes with a lot of pressures. People have been telling us our whole lives, when you grow up, you're gonna do something great. The narrative for our generation is that we're all gonna grow up to do something great. Since entering adolescence, I have lived in constant critique of myself, always asking if I've done enough, if I'm good enough. If people said I would never be an engineer, then I doubted my abilities. If people said I was a bouncing ball of energy, then I was a bouncing ball of energy. If people thought that I was weird, well, yeah, they were right about that. And if people thought that I would grow up to do something great, then I felt pressured to live up to the image that they had created for me. I let other people define me for myself. It wasn't even until, throwback, last year, junior literature class with Miss Breen, when we were reading No Exit, an existentialist French play by Jean-Paul Sartre, that I realized how misguided I was. Sartre and Miss Breen taught us that we cannot depend on others to give our lives meaning. We care too much about what people think of us and hold their opinions in such a high regard that we neglect our own. Especially in an academic setting, we compare ourselves to others so much that we learn to believe that who we are isn't good enough. I allowed myself to be defined by what others thought of me, and that was the worst mistake I ever made. The reality is that we cannot depend on others to give our lives meaning. Society should not, and does not, have the power to tell me who I am. That is my decision. And it's a decision that we all have to make in our lives at one point or another, regardless of age. As Garson in No Exit says, a man is what he wills himself to be. Little disclaimer, however, Garson is not a model example of how we should live our lives. Instead of just willing ourselves to be something and desiring others to see us in a certain way, we should actually follow through with what we will ourselves to be. I, for one, will myself to be a kind, passionate, and confident person who seeks to teach the world to be a more accepting and loving place. When you walk outside of this basilica to greet your parents, guardians, family, friends, teachers, classmates, and other honored guests, think, what do you will yourself to be? I encourage you to mull over this thought and to keep Cashin's famous words of wisdom in mind as you strive to discover who you are and follow through with your own dreams. Live the life, live the dream, no fear. So, on behalf of my class, thank you, good counsel, for the ride, the academic and life lessons you taught us in class, the late starts, the service opportunities that have helped us grow in love, Friday senior dress down days, and sage dining. Dear class of 2018, I truly hope you all get to a point in life where you're happy with yourselves and where you've gotten. You have all been so wonderful to each other, and I bid you safe travels as you choose which turn you'll be taking on this road. Thank you.
Thank you, Rhiannon. Because we are in church, because the Blessed Sacrament is reserved here, and because of the large number of students receiving diplomas, in order that all parents may hear their son's or daughter's name read, I ask you to hold your applause until after we award the last diploma. Dr. Barker and Mr. Campbell, by virtue of the authority granted by the State of Maryland, the Archdiocese of Washington, and the Association of Independent Maryland and D.C. Schools, Our Lady of Good Counsel High School takes great pride in awarding its diplomas to the class of 2018. Karen Angelica Marino Afable. Labane Kina Achia Jamson, Carter Miles Albin, Dominic Ariel Albornoz, Xavier Renard Alexander, Alexis Rose Altamont, Luke Douglas Amato, Gina Marie Arauzo, Andrew Ben Artizoni, Emma Barton Artizoni, Ethan David Arias, Ashna Aurora, Alexander Matthew Ashley, Catherine Lynn Athey, Lucille Takan Ayuk, Ellen Sarah Berry, Tessa Christina Batts, Lauren Elizabeth Bauer, Tyler Christian Baylor, Gabrielle Milan Belgrave, James Etienne Benjamin, Jared Edward Benjamin, Namen Denkanesh Betzalot, Ethan Joseph Blair, Alexandra Rosalyn Bonavia, Kennard Andres Bonilla, Kavan Eugene Bowen, Anna Elizabeth Bowers, Mallory Auden Brendel, Jackson Alexander Bridgey, Leah Nicole Broom, Alexander Elon Brown, McCall Alexis Madison Brown, Kayla Iverletta Brown Cauley, Kennedy Page Buck, Margaret Grace Burgess, Emmanuel Anthony Cadet, Dennis Kadima Alvarez, Matthew Joseph Kane, Aaron Michelle Calloway, Jessica Ann Calloway, Julie Alexandra Campos, Cameron Keith Carter, Devin Ashley Carter, Kimberly Evans Yumbi Carter, Marissa Lauren Casamates, Gerald Anthony Cassidy, Jake William Cates, Daniel Stephen Cerullo, Abigail Catherine Chambers, Grace Ann Chekin, Grant Alexander Clark, Whitney Fern Clark, Landon Richard Klein, Catherine Aria Close, Theodore Colbert the Fourth, Sheehan Grace Collins, Claire Elizabeth Connaughton, Carolyn Marie Conran. 
Micaiah Maria Cooper, Amanda Julia Culp, Shibu Ronnie Das, Joshua Tyler Doherty, Joshua Salvador Davidson, Kennedy Brooke Davidson, Sean Dante Davidson, Justin Edward Davis, Kelsey Danelle Davis, Paige Ellis Davis, Taylor Cynthia Dado, Juliana Antonetta Del Buono, Michael Gregory DeMarco, Ifan Deng, Nicholas John Diotis, Grace Alexandra DeRose, Kayla Elizabeth DeRose, Taylor Reed DeRose, Kylie Rose Dickerson, Jeffrey Sionfeng Dong, Jonathan Alvin Donnelly, Matthew Ryan Dorsey, Robert Joseph Doucette, Amaya Jakira Dowdle, Logan St. John Dulski, Adele Marianne Ehrman. Margaret Grace Ellington, Brianna Marie Esker, Leo Jerome Fangmeyer, James Perry Farrell, Elise Lucille Nache Falk, Keelan Grace Ferris, Brendan Cornelius Fitzgerald, Raquel Atonina Flary, Dason Larod Flood, Marissa Cam Flores, Lauren Rachel Cortez French, Olivia Rosemary French, Kyle Anthony Fritchie, Samuel James Fur, Megan Marie Gallagher. Victoria Elizabeth Galloway, Grant Thomas Gebhardt, Haley Michelle Gerald, Andrew Joseph Guido, Christopher John Giles, John Patrick Gilligan, Erica Joan Geronda, Leah Christina Givens. Tyler Scott Goring, Nolan Rodrigo Gonzalez, Anthony William Gorgoni, Naeem Antonio Omari Green, Tatiana Adela Gussler, Kevin Bernard Haley, Alexander Richard Hall, Patrick Brooks. Hanrahan, Cruz Parker Hansen, Madison Kilby Hardy, Lauren Danielle Hargrave, William Jackson Harris, Kaylin Agre Haynes, Christina Marie Herman, Taylor Alexis Holton, Nia Lauren Hope, Joseph Eric Hoisin, Wei Chung Hu, EJ Huang, Kayla Nia Hunt, Ashley Marie Heistad, Katerina Emilia Yeranimo, Julian Shola Igbarula, Nicholas David Jackson, Robert Andre Jackson III, Merrick Alexander Jansen, Megan Leona Jarvie, Abigail Waylon 
Jenkins, Kyle Eric Christian Jensen, Skyler Sydney Johns, Sydney Elizabeth Johnson, Lloyd Winston Jones III, Mayhul Kanzel, Mason Joseph Carl, Ryan Michael Keating, Ryan Rumsey Keefe, Sarah Nicole Kelchner, Brandon Michael Keller, Joshua Leon Kelly V, Michael John Kershek, Mason Lake Kandagli, Austin Fox Kidd, Mary Amanda Kilgallen, John Albert Kish, Kayla Noel Nolmeyer, Peter Jackson Kutsos, Batoma Poli, Pierre Angel Lanoir, Catherine Hamel Lalos, Caleb John Laughlin, Madeline Nicole Lazarchik, Casey Elena Leach, Sean Francis Leahy, Kendall Lorraine Lefevre, Gia Lei, Ying Li, Riley Marie Lightfoot, Matthew David Loudon, Brendan Thomas Lozapone, Connor Bautone Liu, Allison Jane Lubeck, Christina Mailing Luke, Louis Stanley Lyles, Alexandra Eugenia Rodriguez McDonald, Joseph Thomas Mantua, Kristen Josephine Marshall, Peter Laszlo Martinkovic, Christopher Wade Masters, Michael Casper Mayer, Lauren Colleen McDonald, Margaret Ann McDarby, Allison Christine McKay, Allison Janet McClure, Micah Alder McNeil, Matthew James McVeigh, Rosendo Medina, Dexter Rafael Merritt Jr., Kayla Christina Miller, Kyle Christopher Mitchell, Katie Tyndall Miaris, Carlo Lusong Mohammed, Alexander Michael Montella, Jose Antonio Morales III, Christopher Edward Morris, Lauren Jean Morris, John Marshall Muth, Jamie Yongji Nam, Abigail May Neff, Christine Willis Neuenschwander, Jessica Tao Nguyen, Kaylee Michelle Nicosia, Shaodon Nia, John Patrick Manaog Nora, Brian Thomas Northern, Caitlin Ginica Kalechi Waba, Marcelinus Chinidu Wulia, Valerie Nalamle Odonker, Anastasia Keita Offit, Megan Courtney Oles, Brady Patrick Ott, Paige Elizabeth Ott, Sophia Marie Palacios, Victoria Natalie Palacios, 
Olivia Marie Palucci, Cheyenne Rose Parks, Lauren Alexandra Parks, Nicholas Von Wallahem Pendy, Emily Catherine Peters, Sarah Ann Petzold, Riley Ann Phelps, Kimberly Marissa Phillips, Timothy Joseph Pachati, Quincy Reese Powers, Gina Noel Pronio, Jocelyn Carollo, Ryan Edward Quinn, Anthony Albert Kispe, Magdalena Nina Ralston, Ethan Leonard Rambo, Quentin Tyler Reeves, Maxwell Edward Redman, John Stanton Reed, Milan Jacqueline Reed, Kyle Joseph Ring, Stephen Edward Rebus, Matthew Corden Richardson, Annika Lee Riviello, Nadira Elizabeth Roberts, Helton Alberto Rodriguez, Christine Bernadette Rojas, Nicole Romano, Cosette Emanuel Rosales, Opiemi Daniel Sani, Alexandra Jaya Saturni, Nicholas Dean Savelson, Nathan Richard Schlifka, Grayson Noel Schrock, Olivia Martin Senator, Diego Alejandro Serrano, Nicholas James Seward, Beckett Regan Shortley, Nicole Lane Shumway, Marin Elizabeth Schutte, Nicholas Peter Chiotis, Michael Angelos Sideris, Jonathan Thompson Simpson, Thomas Simpson, Andrew Nicholas Schism, Catherine Miranda Smith, Marcus Odell Sockwell Fletcher, Philip Dennis Sorrells, Andrew Joseph Stafford, Nia Simone Starr, Maria Josephine Stasco, Guy Michael Stefanelli III, Marguerite Anna Stefanelli, Tristan Andrew Steffi, Tremaine Marque Stott, Hannah Davis Stout, Joshua Marshall Stripling, Megan Elise Sir, Sebastian Ryan Swanberg, Carly Hannah Sweeney, Garin Navart Tamazian, Caitlin An T Tang, Christoph Tannis, Annie Caitlin Tansinda, Alwyn Samuel Ibonalarun Taylor, Graysan Matilda Josephine Taylor, Cameron Tyrone Michael Taylor, Christopher Joseph Turp, Corinne Elizabeth Teas, Alyssa Alexandria Thornton, David Daniel Tombini, Brandon Michael Torbay, Eric Michael Trimble, Alyssa Kaylee Tull, Mason Reed Tidings, Brianna Elizabeth Valenzuela, Garrett Thomas Venezia, Laura Sofia Ventura, Leslie Chantel Villa Vincencio, Garrett Bo Bali, Olivia 
Francis Vazo, Rhiannon Elizabeth Wackes Melendez, Ariana Maria Vaslaviv, Allison Elizabeth Wade, Marcus Vincent Wade, Matthew James Waldron, Ella Marin Walters, Caroline Nicole Wanit, Aaron Elizabeth Warnquist, Daniel Johannes Whedon, Claudia May Went, Naria Marie White, Gabriella Ellen Winter, Alexandra Lynn Wittstadt, Haley Nicole Wolf, Jacob Christopher Wright, Milo Brandon Xavier, Xiaoyi Shia, Cullen Malik Kojo Yankee, Kenneth Bradford Yatsukura, Sumie Eileen Yatsukura, Stephanie Catalina Zamora, Sitian Zhang, Zhuyuan Zhao. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2018. Each year at graduation, we present special awards of recognition to members of the graduating class. A special award with a focus on academics is the John Jayaraja Award, which is awarded to the most improved student over four years. This year, we present the award to Kayvan Bowen. The Student Activities Award is given in recognition of outstanding extracurricular achievement. This year, we present the award to Elise Falk. As a value-oriented school that is firmly founded in the Zaverian Catholic tradition, Our Lady of Good Counsel High School sets five goals for the growth of each student. These goals, which have been emphasized in our seniors' education over the past four years, include knowledge and growth in the Catholic faith, academic accomplishment, service, leadership, and Christian character. The following awards will recognize the students that have demonstrated outstanding achievement in these areas. 
The Zaverian Brothers Sponsored Schools Citizenship Award is presented to the graduating senior who best shows the quality of good American citizenship. This year, we present the award to two students, Matthew McVeigh and Sarah Kelchner. The Cardinal Award is presented in recognition of outstanding religious dedication and achievement over four years. This year, we present the award to Christine Neuenschwander. The Father Barry Gross Award is presented in recognition of outstanding servant leadership in school and community. This year, we present the award to Leo Fangmeyer. Our final awards are named for Zavarian brothers who have made significant contributions to Our Lady of Good Counsel High School. The first of these awards is named for Brother Gregory Turlick, who helped make Our Lady of Good Counsel what it is today. The Brother Gregory Turlick Alumni Award is presented to a graduating senior for outstanding volunteer service to school and community. This year, we present the award to Leah Givens. Brother Bonaventure Scully was Our Lady of Good Counsel's longest serving principal. The Brother Bonaventure Scully Award is presented to the graduates with the highest academic rank, highest GPA, and highest quality points in the class. This year, we present the award to two students, Matthew Kane and Christina Luke. Brother Gerald Edward was a dedicated English teacher and a founding member of the school. The Brother Gerald Edward Award recognizes Our Lady of Good Counsel's outstanding Catholic graduating senior. This year, we present the award to two students, Eric Trimble and Christina Herman.
Our Lady of Good Counsel's founding principal was Brother Mark McCarthy. The Brother Mark Award is Our Lady of Good Counsel's highest award and is presented to the graduating senior who has given the most of himself or herself to make Our Lady of Good Counsel an exceptional school. This year, we proudly present the award to E.J. Frank Huang. At this time, I am pleased to introduce to you the President of Our Lady of Good Counsel, Dr. Paul Barker. Present with us today are members of the class of 1968 our newest Golden Falcons, still bonded to good counsel 50 years after graduation. Graduates, before you try to imagine being a Golden Falcon yourself in the year 2068, reflect a moment on the year these men graduated. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr gunned down on the balcony of a Memphis motel. Days of riots followed in DC, as close as two miles from here. Robert Kennedy shot in the kitchen of a Los Angeles hotel. Student protests about an unpopular war in Vietnam. Extraordinary times. But today, these men see you in all your promise and dream of five decades ago when they were just like you. Class of 68, we are honored by your presence. Back in November, I was visiting alumni in Tampa, Florida. Between appointments, I had a couple of hours to kill. I love secondhand bookstores, and I found one in a strip mall. It did not look promising, but I asked. Any New Zealand fiction? Nope. Any horse racing? Nope. Any South Polar exploration? Well, yes. We have a 1914 first edition of Scott's final expedition. I know, I know, bit of a nerd. But who is Captain Scott? Only one of the bravest explorers of the 20th century. In 1912, Scott and four companions sought to be the first men to reach the South Pole. They did so on foot man hauling everything they needed. They reached the pole only to find their Norwegian rivals had beaten them by a few weeks. Then, on the return journey, Scott's team perished one by one. After a trek of more than 1,500 miles and only 11 miles from safety, marooned in a, his tent, by a day's long blizzard, Scott was the last of his party to succumb. I read about this story when I was 10 years old, and I have been inspired ever since by its example of heroism, hardihood, and endurance. So back to this book. I opened it, and I noticed that it was inscribed. This work is presented to my son, Julius F. Stone, Jr., in the confident hope 
that he is ever placed in the difficult and irresponsible position of leadership will meet that requirement as nobly and as completely as did Captain Scott, signed at Julius F. Stone, June 20th, 1914. I googled. Julius Stone was an Ohio industrialist. He had inscribed the book to his then 13-year-old son. Stone wanted him to be inspired, and we can relate. We look at you today filled with confident hope about who you are and what you can become, and we pray that you too will be inspired. Back to the book. On its own, that inscription would have just been a lovely touch, sweet, but not especially memorable. But there was a second entry in the same cursive script, dated April 18th, 1933. Julius F. Stone wrote again, but now to his 32-year-old son. After hugging this fond delusion for almost 20 years, I here regretfully record the fact that he has made a complete failure of all his opportunities. Whoa. What had Julius Jr. done to merit getting crushed 19 years later after Dad's expression of confident hope? I googled again. At 32, Julius Jr., this complete failure, had earned a PhD in organic chemistry from Harvard. In 1933, the country was still in the grip of the Great Depression, and Julius Jr. had indeed been tested in the difficult and responsible position of leadership as the Federal Relief Administrator for the state of Florida. He is credited today with almost single-handedly turning Key West from a poverty-stricken outpost to the lively tourist magnet it is today. And for good measure, four years later, he was back at Harvard to complete a law degree. We will never know why Julius judged Julius Jr. so harshly. My takeaway is simple. Experience tells us it is not ours to determine what is going to light your fire. Of course, that knowledge won't stop us. We, your parents, your teachers, are always going to share what has inspired us because we cherish the hope that it will inspire you too. It's what we do. We want you to be inspired. Today, graduates, rather than dictate to you your inspiration, we rest in the confident hope that your good counsel education has you well prepared as loving good persons who, even alone, can make a difference. We believe you can be inspiring. Your day to be inspiring to the world might be years away. I note from the yearbook that TJ and Keelan were voted most likely to become president, and that could take a while. Some of you are inspiring today. We just heard the remarkable words of Rhiannon. We have just honored Frank, who came from 7,000 miles away to excel, serve, and love as a falcon. We know about how Kyle has raised huge dollars for the fight against cancer. We've been shown by Katerina and Quincy how to mobilize on issues that face our society. And we have watched many, many of you on the stage, the field, the court. And we know there are fifth and sixth graders out there who want to be you, be inspiring. In what difficult and responsible position of leadership will you be placed? We have no idea. We end this Mass and Commencement four days after the Feast of Pentecost, the commemoration of the divine moment that inspired our Church into existence. And we pray, expressing our confident hope, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love, 
send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Be inspired, be inspiring. Godspeed, class of 2018. Please stand. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he show his face to you all the days of your life. Amen. May you know of his peace and all your travels. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. <laughs>